Hi guys, welcome to OB Dave Reacts. I'm the artist formerly known as Office Blow Dave. And I am Ash. Someone said in the comment section that I was desperate to go back. Apparently so. I know, just chomping at the bit. Absolutely it's because I'm at crazy bit. and I drive it mad and I nag him all the time about putting sunscreen on. You do make me put sun cream on sometimes. Sometimes, all the time. Literally went to the park with the kids to go on this like little mini BMX track that they've got. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to do that. <clears throat> and as um, soon as we got out of the car, I put sunscreen on me, sunscreen on the kids. And I said to Dave, right, put sunscreen on. He's like, oh, I'll do it when we meet up with everyone. So I was like, right, sure. Let me just put some on your neck at least. Cheeks are quite rosy. I've got great colour now. I look great. Tell me I look great. You look great, babe. Tell me you look great. <laughs> Thanks. That's needed that today. Thank you. Uh, right, we haven't recorded for almost a week because we've had no internet. No internet. So uh, it turns out me having a Vodafone contract for the broadband and Ash having a Vodafone contract and then she moved in, we cancelled mine and moved over to hers. It's really, really complicated. Apparently. So they just cut mine off and didn't, didn't do yours, did they? So Nothing. no internet for a week. Oh, mate. We've missed a new Ren song. <sighs> We've missed a Hannah B.S. song. Seriously. Uh, Fallen in reverse. Like, there's, there's loads of things. Everything. That... And I, okay, they've, they've compensated us now, but it was ridiculous. Like, three or four times we rung them to try and sort it and it kept being messed up hours and hours on the phone hours on the phone and it's just it's just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous but it's sorted i'm going to touch all the wood i know you're excited because we can record again aren't you yay <laughs> <laughs> right we love you guys i just i don't know I, I like my evenings you never wanted to do a youtube reaction channel no really no even though you stole me away from my previous one <laughs> because you're that desperate to uh, to be a YouTuber. To control you. Yeah. And have you in my life forever. Yeah. So the way to control me is get me to quit my job and then you pay for everything. Pretty much. It's pretty malicious, to be honest. How dare you? Hey. Buying me beer and stuff. Jesus Christ. Make you a house boyfriend. <laughs> right. Anyway, Ren has a new song, Troubles. Yay. I like Ren. No, I do like Ren. I really do. We absolutely love Ren mm -hmm. on this channel. He is a very, very talented guy and he's makes just a Ren dude. makes Ren music. He Couldn't does. be mistaken for anyone else. No, he's just a dude. Just does his thing and I appreciate that nowadays when yeah. everything is so homogenized and watered down. Yeah. It's nice when someone's actually a thing. Absolutely. So let's do it, Ren. Troubles. Try not to sneeze. Ah. I love this song. Very much for these shards of shattered glass and harsh paper cuts Leave me stuck when I reach in Memories are seeped in Hydrochloric acid I go to war and get passive and freeze up Music help the ice to thaw Put the chisel in the middle Swing the hammer of Thor Pull it out of the impossible It's caliber sword Edging no pass full of reasons Why my feelings are sore The first day that I got sick Ejected from the cockpit of living Nineteen young teen waking up big Posters up, man, hunt, ran, went missing Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen The first year maybe was the hardest Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass Brain in the lion's den, body in the shark pit Waking up in pain again, aching, broken hearted Persistent little blogger, I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor Sorry, we've got to have a pause, I'm, I don't want to It's no, such a I'm, tune No, I'm absolutely enjoying it Like, I, I appreciate the music he's gone for to tell this story And then obviously the subtitles in the beginning To talk about how, obviously, he wished he'd had more stories of hope During these, obviously, difficult times for him When he was suffering with his disease Yeah And I'm guessing that this is obviously his story of hope So I guess we're going to find out how well he's doing with his treatment I hope so. That would be really I, I hope nice. he's doing well. Um, he looks well. It's just sort of, when you're that sort of age, like 19, 20, you know, even all the way up to like probably mid-30s, yeah. if you were to say you've got this debilitating thing and they can't diagnose it, 
most people probably won't believe you. It's yeah. You're probably going to have to fight just to get people to actually believe that there's something there's, up with you. Yeah, absolutely. I I couldn't imagine going through that. And also, it's just like people fear like diagnoses, but there's also those who have been spending years of having these like difficulties or pains that they can't explain, and all they want is just an answer. And it may not be a great answer, but at least they've got one to work towards. You yeah. know, like a resolution. You know, there was a guy. Uh, or treatment that was quite well known around Manchester. I, I only hung out with him a couple of times years ago, but he was like just a proper sort of punk and looked it and he got really sick and went to the hospital and they just kept saying, no, it's, it's drugs, you're on drugs. And like they dismissed him and dismissed him and dismissed him and he died. And he was like a similar sort of age to me. And uh, his mum was in the papers kicking off, you know, she's suing the hospitals and stuff because they just took one look at him and were like, you must be a drug addict, he must be on drugs, and didn't treat him, didn't look after him. The worst story I ever heard, I mean, that's that's awful as well, was, um, it was obviously someone who told me the story about one of their cousins, but he'd spent years feeling very unwell and he, they couldn't work out, same story, yeah, you know, doctors yeah. kept turning him away, saying they can't see anything. He went to join the army and the army picked up on a problem and they were like, we're going to send you home for six months, you know, you're still going to be allowed to join, but we just want to run a few tests. And they found out he had leukemia. Wow. So it was the army that managed to diagnose him after years of doctors not seeing it. Sad, isn't it? And he went through treatment and then eventually managed to join the army. I know Lyme's disease is quite rare, isn't it? And that's obviously what Ren either had or has. Yeah. So it's hard to diagnose, but still, you've got to do better. The yeah. medical system. Definitely. I sick ejected from the cockpit of living. 19, young teen, waking up big. Posters up, man hunt, ran went missing. Hard to have faith when the gods don't listen. The first year, baby, was the hardest. Waking in the body that was buried like a carcass. Brain in the lion's den, body in the shark pit. Waking up in pain again, aching, broken hearted. Persistent little blogger, I was bouncing from a doctor to a doctor to a doctor. Like a table tennis game that has no end. So be the fate of Ren. Every single question answered with a question on the end. The second year, I came to terms with giving up my dreams. Mine was severed from the means. To help me write these rhyme schemes Brain was inflamed, the fatigue was crushing Hard to remain sane with your brain combusting And the third year was murder Living in a purga Tory for the worry, wouldn't live to be 30 Lifestyle hurt me Always in my bedroom Rearranged the alphabet and all the letters spelled doom Light hurt my eyes, popping pills to survive When you're 23 and mentally you steadily decline 24 I was poor, disability benefits What's the benefit of disability? It's irrelevant 25 and the scars that were etched, they crack Elastic bands only stretch so far and then snap Deep in psychosis, hallucinations, troubled vision This is from the underworld, we're conjuring my superstition 25 living back at home with my mom But not because I'm a bum, alone and physically Done. So thin, so frail, so weak I'd become And my skin so pale, never kissed by the sun One time I carved a hole in my chest just to feel I wish that was a metaphor, the struggle was real When you're living in the holocaust you buckle and kneel There's relief in the teeth of the kiss of cold steel Facts, 26 I'm highly medicated and the pain sophisticated While I'm lying broken naked on my back Have all my microphone until my coffin started dropping Raw thoughts with the grim reaper knocking on the track But then man, lo and behold I heard an angel beckon on this treacherous road Was a stem cell doctor with a generous glow In the cell transplant pulled me out of the cold And my skin got younger and my body got stronger And my stomach felt hunger for a door that was closed And my soul heard music for the first time Beauty was a word I'd use for this gift of gold Oh Lord I forgive you, Lord I forgive you, Lord I forgive you Make me whole, this music I give you Pain that I live through Everything I've been through is yours to hold.
Beautiful words. Right. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, well, uh, that is exactly why we pause early Jeez sometimes. Because that's what we're reacting to next. Oh, right. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Which I haven't heard yet, so I'm glad I got there in time. That was an unbelievable message that he's put across. And what a great song to use as his backing track for yeah. his story. Like, uh, I, I mean, I love that song anyway, but he's added so much depth to it at the same time. I thought it was incredible. Yeah. Was Power to him. I'm so glad that stem cells have been what's helped. I think that's obviously why he's gone abroad because yeah. it's still not, not quite there in the UK. We're, we're, I, I really hope we do get there. Obviously, like, people know I listen to Rogan a fair bit and he is such an advocate for stem cells and he's talked about the fact that he just hops the border sometimes or used to when and maybe it was a bit more taboo heads to mexico get some stem cells in his knees that are screwed up well that and it's like if it really is fixing people why are we not doing it yeah i think there's an ethics thing it's, it's, it? it's a huge ethic thing because the very best stem cells come from embryonic stem cells and it has to be taken from the umbilical cord and it has to be fresh. Yeah. I mean, you can, obviously, if you are having children, donate your yeah. umbilical cord. If your children lose their teeth, milk teeth are obviously also a form of stem cells. Donate, 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 donate. I I, I couldn't, obviously, encourage people to donate bone marrow. It, it is an, a very uncomfortable it's procedure. Brutal, it's an it? unbelievable yeah, procedure. Yeah. Because there's obviously there's certain, only certain points in the body that you can take stem cells yeah. and bone marrow. Um, but... Milk teeth and umbilical cords. Do it, guys. Seriously, you, your kids give up teeth for mm. for free, yeah, yeah. and obviously they try and give it to the tooth fairy for some extra pocket money. Donate it. Donate like, the teeth I for science. I've been on the organ donor register for like as long as I can remember. Through, like, through choice, I yeah. actively did it, and then when I renewed my driving license, they sent me a card, an I organ saw. donor card as well. So if I'm ever in that situation in a hospital and someone's busy stealing from me, I'll go through my wallet and go, oh, wait, it's an organ donor as well, sweet. Well, the, the laws have changed. That guy beat my card at, you know, at Boots for a meal no. deal while well, I'm croaking it. The, uh, <laughs> the law has changed in the UK that you have to opt out now because yeah. there is not enough donors in this country. And just remember, it's not just your organs that are donatable. Um, obviously, skin, bone for bone grafts. Skin eyes. is an organ obviously technically mm. but i'm just okay. saying bones, your bones are an organ as well anyway you know what i mean yeah. uh, your eyes are donatable as well your hair you can donate as well back to Ren. yes that was an absolute tune mm -hmm. and like i was introduced to him through the sort of bardcore or whatever people want to call it you know the, the acoustic storytelling yeah. side of things but this hip-hop sort of like he knows how to write a beat and really then at the addition of the guitars behind it and things like that he knows what he's doing yeah everything is released recently including his last album the just so bangers good. so, so yeah good. good on you ren we love you we support you and we hope to see more from you yeah one side note as well i don't know where that was filmed he, i think he does it the, said boston in one of the it said, shops it said um it, that's the name of the shop though isn't it yes um i've forgotten the name of it now yeah it literally yeah i think that's a chain of shops um, so i don't think that means it was in boston right um uh, but he's in calgary doing the treatment okay and the snow and everything made me think Maybe, of calgary yeah. but the white snow whatever camera they've used and sort of whatever color science they've done with that sort of blue sky behind him visually just look great you don't see that combination very often because music videos are all bright sunny it's true and that was just like the colors were very pleasing you were yeah so yeah that's me being a nerd for a minute right yeah, cheers for that one i was just a nerd about science so you, so. you are a nerd <laughs> cheers for that one guys make sure you like and subscribe as always massive thanks for fifty thousand subs yes. it's crazy and we will see you all soon bye guys